<laughs> he knows everything that he wants. And then he, he's so confident of that, that when you give him anything else, he's more than willing to grab it and stick it in, move it around, see if it fits. If it, if it doesn't lie there, he kicks it out. If it does, he takes it and loves it. <laughs> Definitely has a keen idea of what he wants in a performance. He's a very technical director. He says, this is what the camera's going to be. This is where you're going to be the center of the frame. Now I'm going to cut to this. I know I'm going to cut to that. But once you have that information, then you're allowed as an actor to give him what he needs. So he's not, he doesn't sort of talk about too much motivation or, you know, that stuff, which is fine with me. Action. Poor Sherlock Holmes has five daughters. What was called this life? <laughs> so what did you do next? We all went up to Harvard. We had to enlist our children. Oh, oh thank you very much. Thank you. I watched him watch the video afterwards, and he makes me laugh, because you know how you look at a dog's face and, like, their eyebrows move and their noses twitch and all that if they're really looking at something, especially your dinner, you know? Quiet, please. And Fred does this thing where he looks at the thing and goes... Like that, and, and you... <laughs> it's so funny. Yes, like you never met. Can you just see the look on my parents' face if a black kid showed up? <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Flan, your parents are dead. <laughs> yes. But if they weren't, this would have killed them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, he sits right under the camera. And it took me a while to get used to this because he feels through the scene with you. <laughs> and sometimes I would, I mean, he's, you know, I'm in a scene and tears are rolling down his face and he's feeling all these things. And I want to say, you know, get away. You're distracting me! I'm gonna love when I get you out of the fence. The fence itself is. Hey, Will, cool. do that trick for us again. <laughs> it looked real. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of directing happens when you talk to them in the camp or in the morning while they're being made up, on the phone the night before, frequently, in a relaxed thing, and you bring up something, or they bring up something. <laughs> Something's really weird because you have an extra black one. Do you have two of these games? He's a, he's a really fun guy. Uh, he, he makes it a point to make sure everyone's really easy and happy and you know because when making a movie things can get really tense so he, he pretty much keeps everybody calm and he keeps things relaxed and we play chess that that helps me concentrate so we play chess on the set he's visiting his parents in Dark Harbor my grandparents whom I've never met my grandparents, my grandparents whom I've never met God, he's finally going to tell my grandparents about me for me, it was really important. Our relationship had to work for me because this is the first time that I've played a dramatic role. And because I'm playing a character, it's difficult to, to judge exactly what I'm doing. So I, you know, I need to look at Fred after every take and what do you think? I mean, he's, a, he's a really good judge. He knows exactly what he wants. Okay. Woo! 